Facebook Live. It took me a couple attempts to do this. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I'm looking kind of sliding. It's Tuesday, it's January 2nd. Um, I'm a little bit in denial right now because I'm in Atlanta. But it's like 20 degrees. So I'm sitting in the balcony. I'm sitting in the balcony and I'm pretending, hey auntie. Hey Marie, Marisa. I'm sitting in the balcony and I'm trying to pretend like it's summer and it's not. And I moved to the south for southern things. <laughs> and it feels like winter. I'm dressed in my scarf and I would wear a hat, but my braids won't fit. Anyway, it's January 2nd. My name is Dr. Lauren Powell. You guys know me. Board certified family medicine physician. I wanted to come on. Hey. I wanted to come on and just talk about I know, 18, it's crazy, right? Like, I feel, I feel like I might as well be in Michigan. I know it's even colder there, but if I have to like wear a down jacket and a scarf, I might as well be up north. Anyway, I just wanted to come on really quick because it's cold. <laughs> so I'm just gonna talk for a couple of minutes. I just wanted to talk about, of course, New Year's resolutions, right? It's January 2nd. Most people are probably like, I already have my resolutions written down. And I was thinking, what are my 2018, whatever, New Year's resolutions? And I decided I'm not having any resolutions. When I think about resolutions, I think about goals. And it can be a little overwhelming, right? Like you say, I wanna be this dress size, I wanna lose this amount of weight, I want to save this amount of money, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And it's just kind of, I don't know, for me, it's like overwhelming a bit. So I said, instead of making goals, I'm just gonna work on habits, right? Because habits are tangible, they're things you can hold on to, they're things that like, I feel like I can do. So for instance, goals of losing weight or being more healthy, make it a habit of instead saying, I'm gonna start bringing my lunch to work, or I'm gonna do some kind of physical activity every day for 20 minutes. Like those are goals that, those are habits that if you do them, you'll probably exceed the goal. Another one of my kind of goals was to read like six books. But then I'm like, how am I gonna read six books? So I just scratched it and I said, you know what? Every night before bed, I'm gonna read for 20 minutes. And by doing that, like I'm gonna exceed the goal. So I think instead of resolutions, instead of goals, we should be working on habits, right? Because habits last a lifetime. So when 2018 is done, we'll still have these habits going that are gonna just like make our life better. You know what I mean? So that's my charge, you guys. Like just forget about the resolutions. And I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest, my husband and I, we made like a board of our, goal, our good things that happened in 2017, and it was good. It was a great thing that we did it. We looked back, we evaluated 2017, we wrote on all the highlights of 2017. And then we set goals for 2018. And so I'm looking at this list and I, I'm like, how are we gonna do these goals? You know, so now I'm trying to think of what are the habits that we're gonna have all year that's gonna allow us to get to these goals. You know what I'm saying? So instead of saying, save this amount of money, like what's the habit that we're gonna have on a daily basis so that we can save that money? So my charge to you guys, focus on the habit, not on the goal. Focus on the habit and not on the goal. Focus on the habit and not on the resolution. If you focus on the habit, you'll exceed the goal. And you'll exceed the goal year after year after year. And habits lead to goals and habits, like they are longer lasting. Vision, right, hey. Hey, auntie. Hey, auntie bro. You know what I mean? I know you're cold, you guys are in Michigan. So anyway, that's it, that's all I wanted to say. I'm about to go upstairs and cook some dinner because one of our goals was to continue and improve on our healthy lifestyle and one of the ways that we're doing that is by making sure that we have more home cooked meals and um you know just go out to eat on our date nights on the weekends so i'm trying to maintain these good habits so that's all i want to say to you guys hey send me messages whatever you guys like want to talk about or you want me to talk about like i want to talk about things that you guys want to hear about Auntie Ro, I'm gonna show you where I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the balcony of our apartment. But don't be jealous because it's only 20 degrees here. All right. 
Have a good day, you guys. January 2nd. Start the year strong. Start the year and stay consistent. Consistency. Okay? See you guys later.